Fitzy and Whipper. Well, we've been talking about this for quite a while and it is now coming to fruition. March 23, exclusively on Stan's new pay-per-view offering, Barry Hall versus Sonny Bill Williams. They will face off in the turf war and Barry Hall joins us now. Good morning, Baz. Good morning, gentlemen. How are we? Uh, it's Baz. good to have you on the show, buddy. This is great news. Yeah, it is, it is good. It's been a, a long time as... Uh, as Fitzy alluded to, but um, I'm glad we've got a date and locked in and we can sort of walk, uh, work towards something now. So uh, very excited. Do you know what? We had Sonny Bill on before uh, we broke up for Christmas. Do you know what I love about this fight? And usually with boxing, Baz, it's about mouthing off beforehand and stuff, but you guys are actually too really well-mannered, you know, mm-hmm. and you have a lot of etiquette. You, you boys, I don't think it's going to be, a, 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 you know, a, one of those, you know, mouthing off at each other before you actually get into the ring, Baz. You'll be quite respectable. Absolutely. Yeah, look, I, I respect what he's done and, you know, how how couldn't you? You know, he's, he's been a fantastic athlete and, you know, one of the best athletes we've seen. So, and he's very respectful. Um, and he's a nice guy. Like, yeah, you know, it's, I, he's I a lovely guy. Of that, but, uh, you know, it, it can't be like that for now. It's, uh, you know, he's, he's my enemy and uh, I'm sure he's thinking the same thing. I've got to hurt this guy. Yep. And, uh, you know, after the fight's finished, we can shake hands and, you know, be mates maybe. <laughs> Baz, here's the question though. When you look at a bloke like Sonny Bill Williams uh, and your team pick apart his boxing style and how he fights, um, can you find a weakness? Yeah, look, we've seen, it, seen a few things, but, you know, he also, his last fight, um, there was there was aired was seven years ago, so mm. you know he's been training full time now for nearly two years. Yeah, um, while this fight's been spoken about, so I'm sure he's changed and improved. So um, yes, we've seen some weaknesses, but you know um, everyone improves the more and more they train, the more and more they do some sparring and, and be put under pressure. So, um, but you know, in saying that, we were just got to work off uh, what we've got at our hands, and mm-hmm. um, you know, we we found a few things, and we have got to try and. Uh, you know, capitalise on them. SAS as well, Baz. I tell you what, you'd be fit as a fiddle at the moment. You wouldn't have had too many beers over the Christmas break, Baz. This is a big. This is obviously a big period for you, leading into SAS and the fight as well. You must be fit as a fiddle at the moment. I'm pretty fit, but uh, a good carrot dangling in front of me is, is a beer. Uh, probably the 24th of March. A couple of years, mate. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's been it's been nearly six months. I haven't touched it. Um, and I, I love a drink. Not too much, but I do love a drink. And uh, So, yeah, I, I'm quite sick. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, as I said, it's just it's just good now to not baseline train. I can I can actually work towards it and peak. Yeah, sure. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's really good. Baz, let's talk about SAS because it's only around the corner in February. Every year, uh, one of the most sort of everyone clenches their teeth and goes, oh, when the boxing sort of exercise comes up and they have to go toe-to-toe in the middle of the circle, Mm. there's whispers going around that this year, because you got Michael Zarafi in there as well, who is a boxer, Wayne Carey, who can go as well in the ring. I'm hearing that this season there is no boxing going on, Baz. Do do you actually get the gloves on? Uh, no, we didn't get the gloves on this year, but oh. a similar sort of thing in a, in a different way. We did. Yeah, um, right. I won't. I won't divulge too much, but um, yeah, a similar sort of thing in a in a, in a different way. So because you and Wayne Carey would pressure. have been great. <laughs> it's still man to man combat, so um, or you know, woman to woman, whatever your preference is, but. It's uh, it's just a similar thing in a different way, same sort of pressure. Where, where, okay, and the hardest things that you've done, and you've done a lot of pre seasons in your time, you've prepared for fights. Where does SAS sit in the hardest things that you've done, Barry? It, it's right up there. It, yep. it is right up there. I, look, one one thing I did experience, and now I, I loved all the physical stuff because um, you know, and Fitz, you know, with all the football stuff and pre seasons, they're quite grueling and taxing on the body. But you do get a reprieve. You do get a break. Yes. To go home and sleep. Yep. This, you just couldn't. You couldn't have a break. Yeah. Um, you yeah. had to be constantly on because if they if they call you because it's like you're in a, a war sort of situation. Yeah. If we get attacked, we've got five minutes to get our boots on, get our backpack ready, and be in survival mode. That yep. We might have to leave the camp and go off to battle. So you could never really sleep. You sleep with one eye open. Oh. And you're constantly your mind is ticking and stressing out about if you're going to be called because. If you didn't get ready in five minutes, 
there's punishment. So you know, you just couldn't really switch off. Baz, the other thing too, I mean, when there's no food being served and any food that is served is crap, one of the <laughs> scariest things I think and why I wouldn't do SAS would just be that morning breath that would be everywhere amongst the rest of the cast. You'd be doing a team activity and someone would breathe into your nose and, oh, my God, you'd need your gas mask and um, you would have starved your way through it. Yeah, I look, I lost a little bit of weight, but um, the food you know, is what it is. I, I, I think once you're in that mind mindset of, you know, I'm here for 14 days and you know I, I need to lock in. The food I didn't really worry too much about because you know, being a, a football player and doing three seasons, and trying to lose weight every now and again, it's you know the food I'm sort of used to you know, not eating a lot. So yeah, right. The food didn't bother me too much, but it did. It did bother a lot of people. Well, it's going to be big. We got SAS, SAS around the corner and the huge fight, Barry Hall versus Sonny Bill Williams, the turf war, March 23. If you want more information, go to stand.com.au forward slash turf war. That's where you can see it. Good luck, Baz, and we appreciate your time. No, I appreciate your support. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks, mate. Fitzy and Whipper.